the privilege uh, to present the three years results of the Engage registry this year at FEE. Uh, this registry is very special because it's the first post-market global registry uh, being performed in more than 80 countries in all, con in all continents of this world, enrolling 1,290 patients. Um, it showed that the endurance stencraft being used in this uh, registry uh, is consistent regards results. Clinical results showed that besides perioperative mortality and morbidity rate, which is very, very low, and we know that from earlier uh, randomized trials, the reintervention rate uh, according to and related to, uh, to annual leaks and migration and limb occlusions was very, very low compared to the first and second generation devices. Now that 500 patients really um, had their follow-up at three years, we see that SEC enlargement is not a problem anymore. We don't see enlargement over time. We don't see reinterventions, and we have a, a good perspective and see that independent from demographics and geographic uh, different uh, situations and conditions all over the world, the results and the, the technical results and the clinical results are um, the same. Fee Symposium, which is one of the largest here uh, in, uh, in the world, uh, is a very good podium to present this, this data to the audience and to endovascular and vascular specialists all over the world. So uh, I think it's a highlight to have the opportunity to present uh, engaged data here at FEATH here in New York this year. I would like to take the opportunity to congratulate uh, Frank FEATH for this excellent meeting for the 40th anniversary of his symposium. It's always a great privilege and a great honor to be here and I wish him all the best and success for the future.